recently have got similar query from a couple of customers about a date column where they have inconsistent dates. If you look at this uh, example, few dates are month and date and few dates are date and month. Based on the local regional settings in your computer, only one date will be considered as a proper date and the second date will be considered as a text date and when you convert this into a date data type, in Power BI it will throw an error. So the question is how to resolve it without having much manual intervention. Now let me show you what exactly happens when I take this column inside Power BI. So let me jump into Power BI. Transform data, then new source Excel. Selecting the sheet one where the data is there and OK. Now this is the column. Now this column is having uh, different formats. What is my local regional setting is month date. So whatever date is here consisting month date will be considered as a proper date and other date will throw an error. Let me show you how it happens. First let me remove the time data from this. Let me split the column. So right click and uh, split the column by delimiter using the space and each occurrence. Press OK. Since there is a leading space, additional column created. So I'm removing this column, removing other columns as well. Now I have only one date and it is currently as a text date because there is inconsistency. If I convert this uh, column into a date, you will see the problem. The dates which are formatted as per my regional settings are considered as proper format, I mean proper date. Others are throwing error and if I select the error, it is showing this is a format. If you are having the other way around, that means if you are having an Indian regional setting or Indian format, date, month, date, year, then it will happen in a reverse way. So how to resolve it? So first let me change it back to text. Now I need to show you the solution how to get rid of it. The dates which are having uh, the slash are proper dates for me because of my local settings. So I need to resolve only those dates where the hyphens are there. So I will split this date alone. So right click, split column and by delimiter. Then custom is the hyphen and press OK. Now you can see all the dates where you have hyphen are split properly and where you don't have any issue, no splitting because of the delimiter I've selected only the hyphen. Now wherever the date is uh, with slash in the column, both the columns is showing null. So let me make these columns as date and this is month and this is year. Now wherever that year is not there, that means wherever null is there, let me give this date. Wherever the year is there, let me combine the entire date in the form of date, month and year. So this is date, this is month and this is year. That is what I want. So now let me create a new column. Add column, custom column. So column name is final date. And then I need to write the formula like this. If year equal null, that means there is no value, then what I want, give me the date as it is. Else, please combine all the three columns with a date format. So date and date formula will ask you the number format of each value. Year should be in number, month should be in number and date should be in number. Here year and month are in number format so no problem but only thing is date is in the text format. So what we need to say, so date and then first I need to give year 
So year is fine, so I don't have an issue. Comma, month is fine, I don't have an issue. But the date column is a text column, so I say numbers from number dot from text. Number from text. And then open bracket, which column it is, that is date column. And now I need to close one more bracket so that date form function is closed. And now you will see this is generating a proper date as a new column. Only thing is, when you are create a custom column, by default the custom column will not be shown as a proper data type, you need to construct it. So no data types. So I need to connect in, convert into a date data type. And now you see the dates are showing properly. It is 9-17-2019. I hope you have uh, liked this video and uh, if you have any queries or questions, please mention in the comment section. Please do subscribe and keep watching. Thank you.